Hi JP, how are you? It's a good question. What will happen in our solar system to our planet during the time of the planetary alignment on December 21st, 2012? Well, okay, here we go. The supercharged electromagnetic particles that will be flowing and interchanging between the planets during the 2012 alignment, they will be highly magnified, uh, supercharged if you will, when they reach Earth and they will penetrate the crust down to the core of the Earth and at the actual moment of alignment it will cause the Earth to pause. Now please keep in mind the current core of the Earth at least according to the astrophysicists that I've spoken with on the Andromeda Council they say that the current core of the Earth is actually plasma. It's light blue in color and it continually releases waves of energy outward toward the Earth's surface. It is not red hot molten iron as most scientists on Earth believe, at least what they theorize. In any case, as these supercharged and electromagnetic particles reach the core of the Earth, they will increase the core's vibration and elevate it to way beyond anything it has ever been before. And these particles will manifest a complete change, a complete transformation in nature of this plasma core. At the peak of the transformative moment of the Earth's core, there will be a beautiful, brilliant, sparkling white light explosion and a new energy source, a new energy form, will be created at the Earth's core. And the particles from this new energy source, they will expand from the center of the Earth outward through the planet and into space. And if people are watching, our visitors in space, they would be able to see this event, our planet emanating these new core energy particles. So, we now have a transformed core of the Earth. It's no longer plasma. And keep in mind, this is unique. Moreover, this is an extremely rare event and has not happened this way before to a planet. Now, according to the Andromeda Council scientist records, this kind of event has happened to stars many times before, but never to a planet. And in Andromeda constellation language, specifically the language of the Mirac star system, the Andromeda Council scientists call this reborn, transformed core, this new energy source from the center of the Earth, they'll call it SAR, and will no longer have waves of energy pulsing outward from a plasma core but rather a continuous release of these new SAR energy particles that will emanate out into space. Therefore, in order to bring back to center this question of time that we were discussing, given the inherent nature and relative lower vibration of the plasma core that created the condition of time on this planet, this vibration of time will begin to go away. And no matter what Earth scientists try to do, and they will try, but they won't be able to institute a faux or fake time program to keep society working and, and in sync. Uh, they, they just won't be successful. So from December 21, 2012, time as we know it will put perpetually diminish and continue to go away throughout all of 2013 until the complete transformation of Earth into a 4D planet which will happen in January 2014. And December 21st, 2012 will actually be the beginning of the end of an opaque 3D organic Earth with a year-long transformation period throughout all of 2013 to it becoming a completely translucent 4D spirit essence higher vibrational 
fine matter earth. What will a reborn, higher vibrational 4D earth look like in its future? Well, as an example, if we have, let's say, 3D people traveling through space in the year 2017, and they are approaching a newly reborn 4D earth, they would see much like a crystal clear, sparkling, beautiful orb. Crystal clear with a blue hue to it, a blue glow. Now keep in mind, it will be completely translucent. Completely clear, but sparkling. This is all they would see. Now comparatively, let's say that we had a group of people 4D people, high, higher dimensional 4D people, traveling through space, heading toward Earth to visit. Well, on their approach to Earth, they would see a brilliantly lighted planet, sparkling, covered with a bright, glowing light. And this bright, glowing light would actually be sort of a, a, a deep layer of bright light they would enter into this layer of light, they would come through it, and then what they would see is much more like a high definition HD, very sharp, very clear, beautiful, beautiful planet with vibrant colors and revealing oceans, land masses, mountains, streams, hills, and the bright lights of the new communities that will be established on this reborn earth.